Hi, welcome to this lesson. We are looking at using WordPress plugins for various website needs. Indeed, you can do many things with WordPress and one of my favorites is web marketing with the help of some amazing plugins. In this video lesson, we will see how to install a free announcement bar in selected posts and pages of your WordPress blog. The announcement bar appears after a delay stays for some time before disappearing. Here is a list of some features of this announcement bar. The size of the bar, the border size and the font size can be changed. The text announcement can be aligned to the left, center or right on the bar. The start time, display time and the slide time can be adjusted. The bar can be styled with custom CSS. The bar can have an image background of your choice. There can be separate message and the link text. Live preview is available to show the changes you make immediately. Locate the announcement bar either above the header or below the footer. All of the above features are possible with the excellent free plugin called WP Top Bar. We will now see how this bar can help you in your web marketing. To begin, open Install Plugins page in your WordPress blog. Now search the plugin by name in this box and from the results that come, install the plugin in your blog. You have to then activate the plugin to get it to work. WP Top Bar appears as a small tab in the left pane at your WordPress dashboard. Click on it to come to this page. Here as you can see I have an announcement bar already working. Live preview can be seen at the top. The text on the bar is center aligned. The message comes first followed by the link. There are several sections in the designing of the top bar in this page itself and they can be reached by clicking these buttons at the top. I will scroll down the page manually to explain the steps. So let's begin. In the main options, the first that comes is turning the announcement bar on or off without disabling the plugin. This is a good help, especially when you want to pause the bar for some time, for any reason. You can locate the bar above the header or below the footer by selecting one of these two options here. The timing of the bar is important. These figures are in milliseconds. That means, in my example, the announcement bar appears on the page after a delay of 3 seconds, slides in about half a second and displays for 12 seconds. After that, the bar disappears gracefully as if it never existed. Try out different figures and see what works best for your needs. The next seven options are about how the bar and the text on it should appear. They are not difficult to understand. So let me go over to the option on include page IDs. If you are using WordPress for some time, you will know that WordPress allots different identification numbers to every post and page. Here I have mentioned the page IDs that I want to be excluded for displaying the announcement bar. That is why I have chosen the radio button Yes here. If I wanted to display the bar only in these pages and in no other page, I would have chosen the option No. In fact, the default option is No. To know the page ID is a little tricky. I use the free plugin WP Show IDs. This is simple yet elegant. Once installed and activated, 
you get to see the IDs of the posts or pages in this last column. So if I want to include the announcement bar only in these top resources pages, I would simply mention these IDs in the options in WP Top Bar plugin. Moving on, we come to Custom CSS section. Here, you can style the bar and also the text message as you wish. I have styled the color of the bar and for that I used the gradient tool ColorZilla. Here is the link for it. Let's go over to ColorZilla. Look around this CSS gradient generator. This is a very useful tool. Whatever colors you choose on the left, you get to see the preview at right top and the corresponding CSS code in this box. Simply copy the code and coming back to the announcement bar setup, paste it here. Next, the position of the bar can be mentioned here. Ok, let's move on to the color selection section for the bar and the text. If you do not want to have the color gradient in the above section, you can indicate a solid color for the bar here. As I click on the color bar, the color selection circle opens up to help you select the color. You may also directly mention the hexadecimal code for your color in this box. Finally, we come to the section for text message, link text, link URL and the image URL for the top bar. These are not difficult to understand. But let me mention one point. If you select an image for the announcement bar, it will override the gradient or solid color settings in the previous sections. So, you will perhaps agree that this is a highly useful tool in the hands of the webmaster to do marketing on selected pages in the blog. It is easy to change the color and the texts of the announcement bar to make it effective and targeted. And this you can do frequently and easily. We will look at more tools in the coming video lessons that help you push web marketing at no cost or minimum cost to you. Thanks for watching this lesson.